Oh, yeah, people, what's really going on? Well, I gotta head over to my parents' house today. As far as I know, it's not to fix a computer, but you never know, shit could change. Dad is sneaky like that, so you never know. He might have broken his shit and just hasn't told me yet. But uh, before we do that, I just want to show you the outside of the house, because I mentioned on the last video that uh, I had some home repairs to do, and uh, didn't really get too far into it because it was dark. So I figured now that it's light, even though I'm expecting my phone to ring any second now, because I was supposed to be at my parents six minutes ago, and uh, Dad texted and said, be here at 2 o'clock first and things and I was like fuck sakes I'll be there when I get there but uh, let's go outside and I'll show you what I'm up against for a little bit of house repairs before we fuck off over to the parents house nice day out today not too much nonsense but uh, anyway it's uh, down here where it needs to be patched up and that's where the chipmunk's getting in he's uh, going in behind the siding and then shit hits the fan so I need to clean that up. So I was thinking about patching with some concrete or something. And uh, by the looks of it, he decided to break out the bottom seal here now. This isn't cut right to fit or the cement slab is moving. I don't know. But like I said, the other thing I need to do is clean up all this garbage down here. Son of a bitch. And then I want to take my round mouth shovel. And this can probably be done like today if I wasn't going to the parents' house. So hopefully tomorrow the weather's nice because if we... Barely got any snow left back here. So I'm gonna lift these up. I'm gonna dig this all out Like I say get some concrete and patch this all up and stuff And I just noticed we got a big crack there So I might take a look at maybe removing this bottom skirt seeing what the fuck's back there and then fixing it up I guess Try and keep the critters out. Oh shit. Guess who's ready to launch? Yeah, just gotta go buy the new sticker for the earth's end But as you can tell all four tires are on the pavement, or by pavement, I mean driveway. Yeah, my phone's ringing in my pocket, son of a bitch. Trans Am is ready to go. Yeah, sure enough, that was mom and dad. They were uh, wondering where the frig I am. Can you hear Oreo right now? Really? Can you hear that? You make a monkey sounds, he's so excited. Look, look at him. He's so excited, because he saw me put the food in there. But what he doesn't realize is, he's got his dry food, but look. I threw a wet in there. Yeah. You like the wet food, don't you, puppy? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Look at you. You're so happy. You're so happy. You want to go, wanna go now? Okay. Well, we got to go. I'm going to go buy Hortons and grab a coffee because I freaking need one. And I have no sweetener here to make. Oh, my God. I can't. So I'm ready. He looks ready. Let's go to Hortons and grab a coffee and then head over to the parents' house. Look at that fucking face. Jesus. You're dicked. Yeah, you are. You're fluffy, but you're dicked. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> well, I was going to park on the driveway, but there's somebody else here that I don't know, so forget. Would you back up? You're such a bad dog. Anyway, I got a coffee. Let's go inside. Oh, for frig's sakes, look at Dad. He's a gangster. He's a, he's a, he's a gangster. He was raised in the hood. Yup. Frig's sakes. Oh God, don't be doing that. Come on. What's the matter for you? Holy shit. People keep telling me that I don't I, I don't buy good cuts of steak, but let me tell you a little something dad does. Look at the thickness of these sons of bitches. These are gonna be good. None for dogs, but these are gonna be good. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and coat them in some expired barbecue sauce. Hey, eh? cause you, go, you guys love that? Oh, dad's like, you gonna close it and let them cook? Yeah, close it and let it cook. Yeah, none for dogs. Nope, not allowed. <coughs> you had so many cookies today. Oh, that's yep. nice. Oh, he's got the sneezies. But uh, barbecuing like a boss, people. Barbecuing like a boss. This kind of barbecue I need. Not really. As you can tell, Dad still has a lot of snow in the backyard. Yup. I don't. He does. Sucker. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, T-bone, son of a bitch. It's omnum time. Alrighty, people, while well, we had dinner and things, look at how tired he looks. He's done. Played a lot of catch today. Also found out that that Yukon, that's uh, Dad's rental for when he, oh, dick, when he's going to, uh, he's going out of province in the very near future. So because of that, the company rented him a vehicle to take out of province. So 
They gave him a Chevy Yukon or GMC Yukon or I don't know. It's a nice fucking machine. That's for sure. I wouldn't mind one of them. Definitely wouldn't complain. Probably gurgles a lot more fuel. Dad says it's a V6, so can't be any worse than this pile of piss. But uh, yeah, yeah. Any hoozle. Let's go home. And then I got to go to Walmart. I need some sweetener and some other things. So I forget. Let's get out of here. Alrighty, well I've been home for a little bit, but I need to run back out. Gotta go and scoop up some shit at the Walmart. I just checked to make sure they're gonna be open to their regular hours and they weren't running some special hours because tomorrow's Easter. And I know sometimes around uh, holidays they like to close shop a little earlier the night before a holiday just so people can like, you know, go and do things be a family and stuff but Easter is not one of those days people skeetily douche but um, yeah we're gonna have to get the frig out of here go to Walmart like I said I need to get some sweetener like some sugar for my coffee because uh, that's going to Horton's in the morning before I go to work and going to Horton's like today before I went to my parents house I went to Horton's because I didn't have a coffee and I was like really really friggin tired because I was up uh, I wouldn't say late last night but I was up till around four in the morning and uh, came home and went to bed and then uh, you know it was uh, semi-decked but oh yeah I wanted to talk more about this this uh, concrete stuff I don't know if I talked about how I'm planning on fixing this but I saw a video online of a guy who had a problem like this and all he really did was cleaned it all out and then mixed up some some concrete with fiberglass and sand but I'm gonna buy the pre-mixed shit that already has all that nonsense into it and uh, mix it myself and then what you do is you wet the area that you're applying the cement to and then you chuck a bit in and let it harden then wet the uh, newly chucked in freaking concrete and then chuck a bit more in always smoothing it out and all that and then away you go. That's all there is to it. Did I grab an e-cigarette? Why, yes I did. I'm trying this build today. The uh, Russian on top of the silver nemesis, the stainless steel nemesis. It's not too bad. But uh, I need to go to Walmart to pick some shit up. Oh, dick. And uh, oh, this car, I'm telling you, the suspension on it is shot again. I was going to work a couple, I'd say about a week ago, and uh, North Bay's roads are shot, right? So I'm bombing down the street, and I figured there's, I saw a big puddle on the side of the road, and usually when you see a puddle, there's usually a pothole in there. So you don't want to hit it, but I couldn't move over any because there was this old lady and a Taurus beside me, an old dirty friggin' Ford Taurus, and she wasn't giving me any space, so I had no choice but to go through the puddle. And I hit a pothole, and it literally, like, my car went from, like, 50 kilometers an hour down to, like, 10. Like, it just fucking boom, boom! And I was like, oh god. And now every time I hit a bump, I hear this like metal on metal grinding, and like I'm pretty sure I fucked up the brand new suspension on this car. Lovely. Just lovely. So luckily the suspension's Monroe and it's lifetime warranty. So we're gonna have to yank it off, bring it into car quest, get new uh, struts, put them back in. Ugh. I wish I could buy heavy duty stretch that wouldn't break, but that would be pointless because then how would parts companies, you know, make money off of stuff that never breaks. Anyway, people, I'm gonna head off to Walmart. Let's do this. Like, honestly, okay, right now it's not too bad because the road's kind of smooth, but uh, we'll hit some bumps here. And it sounds like she just wants to fucking come apart. Yeah. Doesn't sound the best. It's just uh, really dicked, you know? Like you pay good money for parts and they just don't fucking last because the city's too busy wasting money on stupid things rather than uh, buying good things. And with people parking on the side of the road on both sides, it makes it hard for T-cars to fit down a street sometimes. Oh, here's a good, here's a good hump. Like, it just sounds like the front end wants to fucking come apart, you know? I feel really safe in this car every time I drive it. Really safe. So, I have to replace the struts and get them to do a front end inspection and see exactly where the problems are. Oh, this is gonna be a great sound. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna shut up and listen. Did you hear the tuck, 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 tuck? Oh yeah, oh yeah, so crunchy. So crunchy. Uh, if things go the way I'm hoping they go, and because there's an election coming up soon, uh, and if it's this whole selling the company is just some ploy 
by the gov to like you know try and get either the NDP or the or the conservatives in and that's the case then I'm getting a new vehicle like if I get to keep my job I'm getting something new better built more research done because this thing here is a fucking sack of shit well the parking's not as primo as last time but it's all right let's go inside and get some shit Frig yeah. Alrighty, well I may have bought a little bit more than I came to get, but uh, we got sweetener, we got kitty litter, needed that. Friggin' entranceway starting to smell like cat piss. So, and no, not the YouTuber cat piss, actual cat piss. So we're gonna go home, and get the litter box all cleaned out. I'm expecting a text from Rex to pick up that mower. Don't know how that's going, but let's get out of here. Yeah, decided to park right, beside, right behind the dirty bird, because, uh, well, number one, I can. And number two, if Rex comes over to grab the tractor, He'll have a nice area to back it, back it in and friggin' line it right up to the garage. You won't have to push it too far because it's got a flat tire, sort of. But he can figure around with that. Anyway, let's uh, get the shit in the house and I'll show you what I got. So I got some more coffee. Yes, I did. Grab two boxes of sweetener. Yup. Don't even think about it, cat. Freak sakes. Bought two more bottles of vegetable glycerin because, well, I'm making my own juice, so frig it. And just because I can, I bought a pack of these delicious things. Oh yeah, friggin' love those. But anyway, people, I'm gonna end it here. I have no idea what's going on later tonight, if Rex is coming over or not. He asked me if I wanted to go for coffee and then pick up the tractor, so I don't really feel like going out for coffee tonight. I kinda just wanna chill. But, uh, you know, just kinda wanna chill out, have a couple beers and, and do nothing tonight. Just have a relaxing night after having a nice relaxing day, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I plan on doing. So I'm gonna grab four of these delicious sons of bitches, head upstairs, and uh, see what's going on on the internet. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.